Right then, the um, the sixth part is it? The sixth part of the video in which we look at Weka, or as one might say, Weka. One should have an extra hatred here. Apparently, I don't know. I looked it up. I don't claim to be an expert of the Nahuatl language. I just looked it up, and apparently. By right, there should be an extra H in here, so it's Weka. So, as we see, we're uh, moving into a place with pyramids. We're away from the waterfall. We're away from the lava. We're away from everything, as my driving instructor would say. And uh, yeah, speaking of driving, we will be going for a drive in this level. Um, so, that is what Weka means. It means far away. So, we're far away from where we started and we're far away from both the water and the lava. So uh, let's have no more water and let's actually get going. Music doesn't start straight away which is unusual. Without map, actually my favorite. So um, yes, I'm not sure if there's supposed to be a secret in here. Yes, this map is very intimidating, by the way. Um, very, very intimidating because we'll see in a minute that there's something of an open world design. But it also has six secrets, none of which I have found to date. But um, I, I've looked at secret guides, so I know where, um, I have a rough idea of where some of them are, but, uh, anyway, let's just, uh, I don't think, there doesn't seem to be anything in here, I could be wrong, come on, no, oh, the vehicle, and, Video that um, funnily enough, Teot. It's not that different from um, from the Greek word for gods, which is Teos. Uh, I checked out Wikipedia's list of false cognates, and sure enough, the very last entry on the list was um, Latin Deus, uh, Greek Teos, and now what Teot. Funny little coincidence, but it is a coincidence. There's no conceivable way that it could be anything other than a coincidence. Hmm. I do like this music, but the annoying thing is that there are whispers built into it, so you can never really tell when you're near a secret. But, uh. I should have dismounted if I was going to start faffing around here, but, um. Sorry about this. Basically, there doesn't seem to be anything around here, so let's just go back. Sorry, sorry about this. When you're in that vehicle, you don't realize what sort of distances you're talking about, but apparently I'm two kilometers away from the vehicle now already, which is... 
I don't know. Meters. I keep saying meters are weird in these kinds of games. Like, what am I traveling? What am I doing? Ten meters a second? No way anyone can walk that fast. Uh, like... Rayman Legends has weird ideas of a meter too. I used to say that all the time. The area completes music in this game sort of reminds me of the, of the main theme from Rayman Legends. Just a bit of trivia there. But, uh, okay. Stop wasting time now. Let's actually just get going. With a great cataclysm, the heavens shook and the caretakers descended upon the earth. The sands turned into glass. The sky became awash with the light of two suns. They protected the people inside the violent mountain. There they would teach them. There mankind would thrive. big open world, like I said, it's kind of intimidating. I don't understand what this place really has to do with mankind thriving, then again. I suppose the place has been ravaged. Now we can, we can get into the first pyramid. I don't know, there's six secrets, so that should mean two per pyramid if I haven't found any yet. Um, as I say, I have a rough idea of where some of them are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find one or two at least. We'd hope to find more, but you know, at the same time, the ship's already sailed on actually getting all the secrets, and I already have half of them since the last video, so. peek at the very start to the secret guide for this one just recently and I don't know I didn't read it properly because I didn't want to be spoiled but I get the feeling you're supposed to find the first one before you go into any pyramid but um anyway I'll be coming out of the pyramid again oh sorry monkey no what is the story Oh, okay, that's something to deal with. Now, oh, what exactly am I trying to do here? Oh, yes, it's right, okay. Lava. So yeah, I guess wet kind of just means far away from where we started. Which is fine. I do like the clever, even though the secrets are extremely hard to find. No. Um, right, I see a ball button, but the noise press it. Throwing bomb, mini bombs at me, and another mummy throwing mini bombs at me, and okay. So there we go. 
it's now. I'm going to get dangerously close to drowning here if I remember the secret guides correctly. So, no dilly dallying. Koya. The revolt began in the early morning, the day after the twelfth execution, thought. The golden gates were swarmed and the god king's guards overwhelmed. Eager hands pried open the locks to the sanctum and nervous feet stormed the forbidden place. A thousand palms touched the device and brought it away from where the ground burns, I see. So the ball was stolen and stuff can only get worse after that, I guess. somewhere else new. Right. No, one and a half kilometers from the ball, 1.6. And I'm outside the pyramid. But the ball is still inside the pyramid. Oh, I gotta walk all the way back. Well, that's the that's the pyramid. Oh, I think there's another entrance outside the pyramid on the other side. Oh, not. Yeah, that's right. There. There are both in this level, in addition to the mummies. Okay. Well, if I go around the other side of the pyramid, I think there's another entrance. Uh, yeah. Pyramid is Teokalshi, not... Yeah, remember at the end of Us Talk 1 I said, uh, Tepe in a moment of confusion. But, um, yeah, uh, Teokalshi means pyramid. It's, uh, God house, literally. Teo, as I said earlier on, is God, and Kal, Kal is the root for house. So Kalshi is house, and Teo means God, so God house. It's a temple. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. Okay. No, I think... This doesn't look very promising. Oh, wait. I think this actually belongs to the other pyramids, though, but, um, anyway. 
more than 2k away from the ball now, but um, whatever, as long as I don't have to get back. Come on, come on. Yeah, this definitely belongs to the other pyramid, but um, sure. Oh god, heavy winds, lovely. It does remind me of the section of the school of this project. Cool. Kamashki. Did I already meet Kamashki? I don't know. Maybe not. War! Lawlessness! The city is divided into two fronts. There are those loyal to the God King and those who worship the ball. Many die every day. Those who stand loyal find ourselves at a loss. The others are stronger, wiser, beyond all, there is talk of a plague. What will happen to the Tepec nation? The ground shakes, the air burns, the crops shrivel. Yeah, we're certainly feeling the ground shaking. Um, the plague, yes, the plague that we that caused all that destruction we saw back in Teok. Oh, God. So depressing. But, uh, let me just go on my own health. This is sort of like the cave section in half Life 2 episode 2, if I'm honest. Okay, invisible wall. Good. Because I don't really want to dive any deeper in this water. No. Um. Oh dear God. So both of these ways go up into the other pyramid, I'm guessing. Anyway. Okay, so I uh I found two secrets, which is two better than I found the last time, and I haven't even solved the first puzzle in the first pyramid. So uh that's good. Right, let's get back into the pyramid and try to continue solving the puzzle. And hope the game doesn't crash because, I don't know. Like, like I said before, I'm playing it on wine, this isn't real windows and... Um, I don't know happen that when I play it without the proprietary NVIDIA driver, the game gets crashy, especially in Weka, Weka even, but um, I am playing with the proprietary NVIDIA driver and I haven't had the game randomly crash when you look at that at all, so I think we're okay. I hope we're okay, because this thing doesn't save my progress until I complete a whole pyramid, I think. It's kind of annoying. Very annoying. Okay. Right, okay, so you have to deal with these mummies. Not deal with them, avoid them. So misleading. Ow! Okay. No, there's no way to get through this door, I'm guessing. Water. 
secret path. Oh, doesn't bear thinking about. No. Yeah, when I saw that first, I thought it was the ball with angel wings, but no, it's the ball casting light because there's no other light source in here. Cool. Kind of. Yeah, and again, it's a fairly labyr labyrinthine. Especially cool how the color of the lighting has to change when the mood of the ball changes. Comparison, this is like half life opposing force to battle all manner of worms and that. Oh, I gotta hit all these, I guess. Okay. So this is. So yeah, we're, weren't they talking in one of their secrets in Teok talking about how the worms grew twice as long? Well, I guess this is that taken to the extreme. Now. Okay. Nice and simple. There's an invisible wall here, it seems. <laughs> Not too shabby. I'm pretty sure there's no secret in here. There's no harm in looking. That would look more impressive. I don't know, I just don't feel it. But anyway, that's, that's our first pyramid done and the game is saved, which is nice. Go there, I go here again, and we're brought back down to where we started. Right, I think we can 
get back in the vehicle. No more hopping around the open world at least up to the moment. Okay. Now oh, let's named after a god. The Tepet nation is tearing itself in two. Tradition grapples with invention. Faith grapples with science. Their Kolothi create obscene mechanisms of war, while the god king's loyal followers kidnap and brutalize. There is no one left to cure the plague. The sickness flows from the forbidden place, I am certain. They punish us as we destroy ourselves. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we can, we can hypothesize that the, um, that the caretakers, the, the aliens, genetically engineered the plague to punish the, um, people for revolting. But, like, what's the point in that? I mean, I do think it could have been resolved much better for everyone with words. And again, we haven't seen that what you call him, the so-called king. We haven't we haven't heard him speak. So maybe they don't even speak the human language, be it Nahuatl or English. And sorry if it sounds like I'm saying that word with a C. I I have trouble with with my T L. Well, um, but. But anyway, I parked too far away again. Okay, same rig roll down these stairs, or down these slopes. Probably again with a few monkeys that we'd rather avoid crushing, but... I mean, the 
hear whispering here. Look. There's definitely a secret. Maybe if I actually play the music, something will happen back here. already seen an Atlacoya. <laughs> so hang on. More than one secret from the same person. That's interesting. When I woke from my slumber I found myself standing at the edge of where the water falls. I was wa walking in my dreams, searching for the voice that lulls my soul. When I hear it call me, I can see the world with three eyes. Unravel the very mystery of nature with a glance and solve the riddle of heaven with a thought. But when I wake, it leaves me incomplete. That's your uh, ball affecting the minds of everybody. But, uh, the ball is can can improve people's minds, but it's very scary because we don't know what it is. But we don't know it's called skulls, which you know. They do symbolize danger and death. So
flipper and stuck. Okay. That will be a good time to end this. Next pyramid, next video.